What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use iCloud on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and Mac. So the first thing you want to do is get on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad and go into settings. Now make sure you're on the right, the right Wi-Fi network and then scroll down to iCloud. And then the first option we have here is account. Now this is going to be your iCloud account. Make sure this is correct. You'll be using this for iCloud on all your devices. Here's some storage plans we have. 5 gigabytes is given to you for free. If you need more, there are some paid options that Apple allows you to have. And when you're done with that, just click save. And then when you're done with this in general, just hit done. Now here are all the settings you can sync up together and have everything in sync within all your devices. Mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, bookmarks, notes, photo stream, documents and data, which is your apps, and find my iPhone. So this next option here is storage and backup. This is going to tell you how much storage you have left. And you can also enable iCloud backup, which I recommend you do so you don't have to back it up to your iTunes computer. And again, here are the options we have. And when you're done with that, go ahead and exit out. The next step in setting up iCloud with your Mac and iPod Touch is to go onto your Mac computer and make sure you're running the latest version of Mac OS X, which is 10.7.3. In System Preferences, go to iCloud. And then you have this Account Details option here, which allows you to set up your iCloud account and make sure that you type in the same email that you put on your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad. Then just make a name and then the description iCloud. Now you can also select the same options you did on your iDevice and let's get started. So this first example I'm showing you is adding a calendar event on either your iPad, your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your Mac, and how it syncs together with iCloud so that everything stays in exact schedule the way you made it. So the first thing I'm doing here on my iPhone is I'm adding a calendar event, very important one that says hi. And then I'm just going to make sure that our calendar selected is calendar, which we're using for iCloud. I'm going to hit done now. And then on my iPhone, I'm going to hit done. And let's watch it pop up on my Mac. So there is the event that popped up on our Mac computer after we added it to the iPhone's calendar. And iCloud automatically pushed it up to the cloud, and now it is in sync. Okay guys, in this next clip I'm going to show you how I add a bookmark on my iPhone and it automatically syncs to my Mac and I don't have to do anything, iCloud does everything for me. So on my Mac, or on my iPhone here I click enter and then on the blue circle there, boom, pops up Google and that's how easy it is. Now I'm going to delete it from my Mac because I don't want it anymore. So let's hit delete and you'll see a delete from my iPhone. And there it is. Now Google is gone from my iPhone, and that's how easy it is to sync your bookmarks with iCloud. Okay, guys, in this next clip, I'm going to show you how easy it is to delete a calendar event from one device, and it'll delete from all your devices. So let's go ahead and hit delete, and it is gone already from my iPhone. That's how fast it was iCloud did it for me, I deleted it from my Mac, it's gone from my iPhone, how easy can that be? So if you enabled PhotoStream to run on your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch, and your Mac, this will show you how easy it is to add a photo on any device and it'll sync up to all your devices. So we went, in, we went ahead and took a photo there on my phone, and let's see it pop up on my Mac. And there it is. That is the photo that I took with my phone and it is on my Mac computer. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to plug my phone in. It did everything for me and that's how easy it is with photos and iCloud. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you learned how to use iCloud. Here are some other pictures that I didn't show you except for the calendar one. Um, if you install apps on one device, it'll go to all your devices. If you have pages on one device, or both devices, it'll sync across each device for you. There's calendars again, 
And if you have iBooks, if you bookmark a page on one iPhone, it'll sync to your iPad or your iPod Touch, depending on what you have. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you use iCloud. It's very, very useful. Turn on that iCloud backup. It'll do everything for you. You don't even have to think about anything. And I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.